What makes an artist great? Is it his personality, his ideas, or is it something more? Is art part of him like any other anatomical function? For Damien Hirst, one of the wealthiest living artists today, art was always what he was good at, that and getting into trouble. According to his mother, Hirst was something of a morbid child who was interested in the more gruesome aspects of life. He liked to look at illustrated pathology books and while in college he worked at a mortuary during summer breaks. It's no surprise then that when the Young British Artists, a group founded by Hearst and his classmates, began to hold their groundbreaking exhibits, Hearst's contribution were meditations on the balance between life and death, hope and despair. Hearst often expressed what was within himself by showing what was inside other creatures. His own function as an artist was to examine the function of other beings. These exhibits earned him the attention of Charles Saatchi, who became Hearst's patron, boosting the artist's reputation and giving him an enormous budget with which to use elements of science to create philosophical art. For example, he made use of a preserved shark as a creature that invokes primal fear in human beings, prompting questions about the nature of fear, chaos and death. Hearst would eventually win the Turner Prize, though he was often criticised because he employed over 100 assistants to produce works like the famous Spot paintings. The art world remains bisected on his merits, but in March 2018, Hearst demonstrated that he still understands the inner workings of the human mind when he released a wildly successful new series called The Veil Paintings. This series differs from the spot paintings in a number of ways, one being that the entire collection of 24 pieces was painted by Hearst himself. Like Andy Warhol before him, much of Hearst's success comes from his strong personality, but many have speculated that his ability to brand himself is in itself a kind of art or perhaps even a science.